Welcome to this January in 2016 on a glorious winter's day in Canmore, Canada, in the province of Alberta. This place is famous for its mountains, it's famous for its cowboys, and for its Alberta beef. This is home for us. I can think of no better place to start our journey. It is a business that's been run by the Von Rotz family called Valbella Meats. Valbella makes fantastic prosciutto, but that's not all they make. Let's go and have a look. When I was in grade four in Switzerland, I watched a farmer going by my house where I grew up with a dead cow on the trailer, and I followed that. And I want to know what's going to happen to the thing, and it ended up in the local butcher shop. I never seen before the way they processed it. You know, I was back there almost every day for lunchtime. You know, just to pay a visit to them and show some interest. Immigrated to Canada, '73. We liked the area here, you know, in the Bow Valley. There was no butcher shops around in those days, you know. That time we were called Alpine Meats. We came up with something really new, cordon bleu to schnitzel and rouladen and anything what we sold was ready to pan fry or barbecue. The customer base is today retail, which is more year-round business. We process 250 pigs a week, 13 tons of bison, some elk meat. They're all grown in Alberta. This is meat, the raw material coming. We have here a Canadian ranch and bison and elk right. from Alberta. Well, Bella Prosciutto. This is the real McCoy. We are the only commercially a prosciutto ham production in Alberta. When I started the business, that was one smokehouse. 30 years later, we have seven. Here we have double smoked bacon. It uh, looks like the, the, the smokehouse was on fire, hey? <laughs> no, it is a, a, like a pancetta. Here we've got our pan ready items. So things that you can just pick up, throw in the barbecue, skewers, salads, schnitzel. These are our turduckins. Duck, chicken, turkey. There's stuffing between each layer, so it's a big thing at Thanksgiving and Christmas. I always recommend the smoked bison. It has that European cured meat touch to it. It's a great display of Swiss and Canadian. We should have more kids, you know, so it would be more help today. But they're working well together and that's nice to see. We grew up hanging up the dried sausages and helping out wherever we can. From seeing my parents' passion and tasting it, is what really drives me. I have a lot of friends that went to school and have their degrees, a lot of student debts. You know, I think there's just this stigma that trades and apprenticeships aren't as good as having a four-year degree. People are missing that passion for making something that people want. Something that people are excited to buy is pretty satisfying. Where I grew up was a small community, you know, and all the trades are open. You can watch them through the window to welcome you inside to see what they do, you know. And that's how I think it should be for those young people to have an open door, you know, so they can come and see what it's all about. We employ around 35. Their background is maybe from the kitchen. We train them. I'm the head butcher here at Valbella. I've been here for 20 years. Walter's been a pretty good boss to me. He sent me to Switzerland, actually, for five years. It's a lot of fun. It's not an easy job. So I like to be creative and like to eat tasty food. Well, I love it. I'm a chef by trade. It's a beautiful job. But uh, unfortunately, you don't see that many butchers anymore, right? People of my age don't really want to go as a butcher. So for me, it's a plus to can travel and everywhere they need butchers. So it's easy to find a job. It's an important industry. I mean, people have to eat. You're always going to have a job. Nearly 50 years now, you know, that I'm working in the trade or the beer and involved with meat, and we still learn. And I show the appreciation to the customers which support you when you start a business. To say tomorrow, I have it, I've seen it, you know, I would, I would feel really bad. I'm a big supporter of shopping locally, so I try to source as many local products as possible. We have a great relationship with all of the other food businesses in town. There's not a week going by, there's not an organization knocking on the door 
for any support, you know, from the hockey teams to the food bank in Christmas time. In the farmer's market, we go there. We have a, a customer appreciation weekend, you know, and then we usually have an open house. We have a cafe where you can purchase lunch, which is well appreciated in, in Nelson Park here. Wow, this is amazing. Well, I hope you enjoy. I will for sure. Thank you. <laughs> Experience here at Valbella, amazing. It's a family business. It's been one of the oldest businesses in the Bow Valley. They make products which you can't get anywhere else. Everybody here is proud about what they're doing. They are passionate about what they're doing. And they're making things. And they're encouraging other people to make more things. So this is a really good start to our journey. And we, uh, we'd like to show you some more.